so nice to see you, Henry. I'm Tracy from so many shows.com and uh, really enjoying Primo, enjoying covering it. I've watched it three times through already. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan. So, um, and now I'm my fourth watching with my son and my husband. So, um, spread, awesome. spreading the word. So, I'm, I'm curious up front. We've got like 100% Rotten Tomatoes fresh for Primo or just a hefty score on IMDb. Did you set any kind of benchmark that you wanted to see success for the show? Or like, how do you respond to this great response from the audience? Um, so running the risk of sounding kind of ungrateful. Um, I, I, it's none of my business. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I got you. Mm -hmm. People like it and that's awesome. Um, but like I had an amazing time and I, I can speak for all of us. We had Mm -hmm. an amazing time making it. Right. I truly had a, a really great experience and um, had so much fun doing it that 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 was it for us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this that is was just a cherry on top and like hopefully right. we can do it again. Sure. Oh, I definitely hope you get to do it again. I mean, there's I can think of many reasons myself, but why do you think it's resonated so well with viewers? Are there particular things about it that you think have really stuck out? I mean, I think it's a lot of things. I think one is is just the writing. Mm-hmm. I think we have we have an amazing kind of top down just crew and 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 um, group of people working on this. There's just mm-hmm. talent across the board. I think the cast has a great chemistry. I think it's also a story that, like, as funny as it is, as, as ridiculous and bizarre <laughs> as we can get, mm-hmm. um, I think there's a lot of heart. Like, it makes For it feel sure. good, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I For think sure. it's that. I, I, I haven't seen it. Um, okay. But I would imagine that if I was, like, not feeling well, yeah, this would be the show I would go put on if I was on the couch. Yes. Yeah. I, I could... I could see that for sure. It's, I mean, you could almost call it a comfort show, but it's not that it's just, it's not just comfort. It is hilarious. Yeah, it's it's almost fun. like this really cool surprise at how much you feel from it too, how much goodwill you feel, how grateful you end up being maybe for your own family. You know, that's yeah. just like a bonus, you know, to all the humor. And I was talking to Jonathan Medina before this, and I am particularly fond of the pop culture references that that really resonates with me. And it's, there's just so many. There's just, yeah. they just, I mean, that's a Shea Serrano. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of his yeah signature. The king of, of, of <laughs> pop culture references. Yeah. Now, speaking of references, um, would you get the Spurs references um, all the San Antonio references or, or, or not? I mean, I know you, you didn't grow up there or anything. I said you grew up in Florida. Is that right? Yeah. Miami. Um, well, I don't know if you're a sports fan or I'm a it, big it, sports fan. Okay. So I've, I've definitely gotten the Spurs references. I, <laughs> I've been doing this thing in interviews a lot. Okay. Where I keep calling Shea Pat Riley. <laughs> and yeah. I like, I know he wouldn't like it, but it's a huge compliment. <laughs> right. Right. So it's my mm-hmm. way of like needling the fact that I had to pretend to be a Spurs fan for yeah, yeah. months. So yeah. I just keep saying he's Pat Riley and the best leader that we could have. That's so funny. That's funny and very clever. Speaking of comedy, have you done much comedy before this? No, no. This was my first, my first one. What do you, um, what do you, what do you think? Did you, was it a stretch for you at all, or did it feel kind of natural? I think I, I fell into it. Um, it was a good time. I think yeah. <laughs> uh, Carlos Santos was you know kind of the resident comedian in the cast Mm -hmm. and he helped a lot I would kind of just run things with him and and uh, yeah pitch things to him and and you know we would if I ever wanted to throw in ad-libs or improvs a lot of the time I think initially like especially in the beginning of the season we would kind of try them in rehearsals and see what Shade's reaction would be and Mm -hmm. You know, if he liked it, Shay would would tell you to keep doing it. Um, so I would pitch those, and I would kind of work those with Carlos before we get to rehearsal. And 
he was definitely super helpful. Nice. Nice. Any, any ad libs in particular that you could share or we just have to. I haven't yes. seen it. So it's hard. Oh, right. Like, right. Yeah. Clips I've seen. Yeah. Um, I know the end of the bus, the bus round, the, yeah. have you ever seen speed or, or that yeah. thing? So um, and then, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that was one. And then, Oh, uh, where's my crossbow? Yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. I would say giving me a say whatever you want. Nice. Nice. Yeah. But I, yeah, it's hard. People have asked me that. And it's like, I, just because I haven't watched, it's so hard to, to right know. to, to pick them out. Yeah. Well, speaking of the crossbow, um, I, I have sort of a, I've been putting a theory together that all of the uncles have sort of this uh, superpower or gift for Rafa. Like they're kind of, you know, known for something or they're, they're, like they're especially good at or have to offer to him. So mm -hmm. for, for uncle Mike, I feel like it's protection. Do you, sure. do you feel, does that sound about right? The way you play? I think Mike game? wants it to be protection. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, he yeah it's probably protection also mike is the only one who's left and i think that's a big thing for him and for okay. the family and eventually might be a big thing for for rafa if he does go to college or where he goes to college mm -hmm. i never thought about that until right now but yeah okay. mike is uh is the only one who has kind of left the nest and and left san antonio ventured out yeah. yeah okay no that's a very good point now, um, did Shay offer any guidance to you and the other actors who played the uncles as far as with it being, you know, I don't know how loosely, but but definitely had some some base in his own history with his uncles? Did did like he tell you anything about Uncle Mike or? Yeah, I mean, I, it wasn't super specific. Um, okay. It was more like I would go to him like the glasses that Mike mm -hmm. always wearing his glasses. Um, <laughs> that was, that was an idea I had early. And I was like, I just feel like I should have yeah. glasses on my head at all times. <laughs> and, um, and I brought them to Shay and I was like, yo, does this? And he was like, yeah, yeah. He really does that. That's, That's and like so little funny. things like that. Yeah. yeah. Like his military boots all the time was uh -huh. the thing that apparently the real Mike, I believe his nice. name's not Mike, but yeah, yeah. I was gonna say his real name, and then I stopped myself. That's okay. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I believe the real Mike is always in military boots too. Okay, okay. Well, sounds like you've really captured that essence. That's awesome. Um, now there are so many pairings and combinations of the uncles, and also you know pairings of uncles with Rafa. Like I love that there's a great mix. Like it's not always just Rafa. I mean, just Mike and Roly, for instance. You know, we see you interacting. Yeah. Your character with all the different uncles did you have a little it's hard to say probably but like a favorite pairing that you worked on a scene that you worked on i mean my favorite bit is definitely the roof bit uh, uh -huh. yeah <laughs> yeah that like and and jonathan's incredible and he's so good in that um but it's it, it's just the bit i think is so great that mike held on to this for 10 years to get somebody back like yeah I'm a big fan of Petty. Like yeah. I, <laughs> Petty, Petty always works with me. Like if someone yeah. gets me back on something and is super petty, I almost always, if it's clever, yeah. just give them credit. I'm like, well mm -hmm. done, like well played. Um, and I think that for Mike, ten years sitting on that, Jay should be proud of him. Well, I think it aligns well with the the military background too, because in the military, you're not going to just make a move because it's convenient or you want to do it now, you're going to strategize. you got to wait till the time is right. It's chess, so. not checkers. Yes. Yeah. Now your character, uncle Mike and, and Ryan, um, of course they yeah. have the beef with the certificate degrees or that's, that's a, that's a great bit that comes up. Um, but those two characters are the youngest. Is that right? The youngest yeah. of the brothers. Okay. So I feel like th they end up being, I don't necessarily want to say the butt of jokes, but they, it feels like they get picked on a little bit more. And I wonder if it's because, or if you agree, and if you think it's more because they are the youngest or because they 
give a big reaction to people messing with them because like Roly, you you know you poke at him he doesn't really seem to care you know sure um do you is that kind of on par with yeah you? i think it's 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 probably both of those things and i think okay. the reactions are also coming from being the youngest and like in such a crowded house you're just mm -hmm. fighting for yeah respect all day the the certificate bit is actually what made me want to play my initial audition they had sent me was for mondo oh okay and when i was reading the scenes um i called my manager after i read the certificate bit and i was like can you just send me mike's uh slides and then that's yeah so that was what made awesome. me want to play mike that's really cool that's really cool now you weren't involved with the scenes with the outfit as much the white pants and the pink shirt but we did right. see, we did see uncle mike model them you know <laughs> at the end and, and i guess you know with having not did you get to watch any of that filming i guess are you familiar with what went down at the carnival with the outfit yeah i was i was there um both carlos and i were there one night that we weren't filming we just kind okay. of hopped in to to watch it all go down so we saw Specifically, they were doing the scene um, where Roldy is talking to, to Ignacio um, mm -hmm. and he's seeing the clown behind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Those those bits with when um, when Rafa is, you know, fighting or, you know, arguing with the, the kid who took the money um, in that part of the storyline. And like he he throws a drink on him and nothing nothing gets on the shirt it just comes right off he tries to push him and his hands slide right off i mean that that some of that physical comedy I, i've heard my husband laugh some of his biggest laughs during that so so i guess my point is even though you weren't in the scenes with the shirt so much i'm glad i'm glad that that uncle mike shared that outfit with rafa because that was really funny he's doing he's doing good work out here he's doing good work for sure um now do you have a dog? I, I thought I read somewhere that you have a dog. I do have a dog. Okay. I thought it kind of made me think maybe Mike should have a dog. Like it would be fun if he had like one of those like canine trained dogs. My dog looks like the type of dog Mike. Yeah. Should yeah. Yeah. So I, I just want to plug that maybe for hopefully a season two that maybe Mike should have a dog. I think that would be a great like accessory to Mike's. I agree. Persona. Like Mike the truck and the dog yes in one scene. yes 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 winning scene okay let's go there with go. that I'm, I'm putting that out there um okay i have a few sort of rapid fire questions before we go I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get every every uncle's opinion on these so um we had the big gonzalez barbecue uh -huh. so for you henry what's the best item someone can bring to a barbecue food item What's your favorite? Burgers. Burgers. Okay. All righty. And who of the cast, the actors, not the characters, but the actors, who would be the toughest opponent in a real life round of Game Champ? You said the actors or the characters? The, act the actors. The actors? Mm -hmm. uh, Carlos. Okay. Okay. And now, now back to characters. What award would you, Mike, give the character of Drea? Um, what award would you give her for the wall of accomplishments and praise? Best sister in the world award. That's a good one. That's a good one. And and again, um, I mentioned this to Jonathan, not to stir up favorites or trouble. <laughs> you said the full name for the wall. Oh, I, yeah, I had to. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not going there. <laughs> I was very specific about that in my book. Um if you could pitch why it, why Mike should be the favorite uncle, like it's it's impossible for everyone to pick a favorite uncle, but if you had to pitch like a two sentence pitch for for Uncle Mike, why should he be someone's favorite? Because he's smart and disciplined and handsome, and what else does he say? Many things. So <laughs> he has he has a long list. He yeah, says, yeah, uh, yeah. Or Okay, that's, so just ex exactly what the character says about himself. Yes, for sure. And he's he's got the sunglasses. I mean, that's that should and be part of it. I also think, like, for all of Mike's stupidity, <laughs> um, if the world ends, who do you want with you, Ryan or okay. Mike? Okay, okay, that's a good point. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, depending upon the yeah the circumstances of. 
of how if it's completely over and there's yeah. no getting out of it you want mondo he's probably gonna help you deal with yeah yeah things yeah things emotionally i i did <laughs> i did mean to mention to you too before we go one of my absolute favorites in um the season is the scene with mike and roly in the woods when mike is trying to take off all his gear <laughs> And he says he has to take it off in a very specific order. I was like, how does he maintain that control when he's when you're acting that? Because it's just hysterical. I'll be honest with you, it, it took a couple tries. <laughs> really? The, okay. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't an easy scene to do. I also kept getting stuck and like sure. getting the wrong order. In. Yeah. Yeah, the physicality of it. Our director was sick that day. He was like, I was I was literally act. The director was a, a tablet. Because he had oh wow in that day mm. yeah it yeah, was a, yeah. It was a hard day. day wow well it, it came out really well that that's that's definitely one of my my favorites so thank you so much for spending some time with me to talk about thank the show you, I love it and I, I wish the best for for season two keeping my fingers appreciate crossed. you all right thanks again bye. bye.